did you know you can get a full Windows PC online that's powerful enough to run any software you want? I'm talking playing games, coding, running automation tools, the list here is endless. And here's the craziest part, you can access it from your phone, your laptop, or anywhere in the world. Even if your personal computer is slow, or even if you don't have a computer or laptop, this can be your full-time machine. And guess what? It's completely free. Google actually gives you the credits to run this thing. In this video, I will show you step by step how to set it up, how to connect to it, and how to make it your secret weapon. So sit back, relax, or better yet, follow along and let's build your free cloud PC right now. So here, the first step you are going to do is come to Google and search for Google Cloud. If you are using your PC, you'll be seeing it like this. If you are searching from your phone, it still works, it's still the same process. So if I search Google Cloud here on my phone, you see Google Cloud, then what we are looking for is this free trial and free tier. So I'll just continue from my computer here because it is the same process. So click on that free trial and free tier then click on get started for free now from here you will continue enter your country with the terms and conditions as you can see on the right side here there is $300 in free credit that you can use for 90 days so just continue through the sign up process that is very simple and once you are, you are done with the sign up, you end up on the dashboard like here. As you can see for me, I've already used 100 or out of the 300 credits. So this is my account right now. And what you need to do is to come down here, you see, create a VM. Just in case on your account you don't see it here, you can come on the side navigation here. Go to the compute engine. Then click on VM instances. So once you're on this page, just click on create an instance. You can use the button up here or this one down here. So click on create an instance. then you may see this showing you some instructions so give your instance a name i'm going to call it my windows pc here you are not allowed to use capital letters so that's why i'm using just small letters but you can use hyphens if you want like that one those are allowed I just keep it keep it simple now choose a region, it's better you just leave the default one, then the zone, leave it to any. Now continue down here, now you can see the types of machines that are available. You can see the, the series of this C4 consistently high performance. Uh, you can choose according to your specific needs. So for me I'm going to choose N2 which is balanced price and performance. Remember here we have $300 of free credit so i have to choose uh, a low cost so that i may use my credits for a longer time if you don't care about using your credits for a long time you can just get a powerful machine and use them within a very short time okay i'm going to choose n2 which is balanced price and performance now down here we see we have some variations of n2 there's n2 standard which is a 2v cpu one core and 8 gb of ram and others here as you can see so you can use any of these preset to pre-selected standard versions or you can click on custom and configure your own details so for example i'm going to create a machine with two vcpus which is one core and for the ram i may drag this to get any amount of ram i want so if i use two vcpus the maximum amount of ram i can configure is 16 gb and if, if you see here monthly estimate it will cost me 81 credits now i'm going to choose four vcpus which will give me two cores and i can create a machine of 32 gb ram uh, in the at the maximum so i'm going to create this one 
uh, this one is enough for my needs but you can create even a bigger one you can see this one will cost 161 dollars 68 cents in credits so now once we have this configured what you do click on os and storage on the side here so this is where we're going to set up the storage we need on our machine and also the operating system in this case we'll click on change then operating system here you see debian is selected but you don't need debian we want windows so scroll down till you see windows server so click on windows server then the version here i recommend that you use the latest one up here okay so boot disk type leave it as balanced persistent disk then here you can add the amount of storage you need for me 100 gb will be enough for me so click on select and you see to recalculate the amount of credits that will be used so you see here it will be 305 credits per month uh, per month estimate that means i can use my credits within one month so that will be around 29 days and after that uh, the, the credits will be cut off if you want to use your credits for much longer you just select your resources from the from the pc maybe you can choose 2 vip vcpus and 16 gb of ram so once that is done you don't need anything else you just click on create and wait so the vm is now being created just have to be patient with it it may take a little while So now the VM is created, you can see on the status here that the instance is running. So what we need now is to set, set up a username that we will use to connect to this VM. But before that, uh, this VM, I, I suppose at this time it is still like booting. So in order to not disturb it, we are going to set up something else that will enable us to connect to our VM from any region. When you first set up your account, it will be said that in in such a way that you cannot connect it from anywhere in the world so we are going to, to change the some security rules so that it allows you to be able to access it from any country using any network so you can there you see here on external ip and internal ip there's this thing nick zero so click on any of those now you see we have firewalls here firewall and rules details roots details that's the thing we are going to configure click on the drop down there then you will see firewall rules okay so what we need to do is click on the default allow rdp Then click on edit so the the priority if yours is not set to one just make sure it is set to one then targets down here the direction should be ingressed by default in the targets select all instances in the network i then source filter ipv4 ranges so here you may see it it won't be uh, set for you so here what we will do Make sure that the source IPv4 addresses you type 0 .0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0.0 .0 then slash 0. So that's how you'll be able to connect to this instance from any IP address that you may be using. So once that's done, make sure all the other settings are like this. Then allow all, allow protocols and ports, allow all, then click on save. So once that rule is saved, now you'll be able to connect to your PC from any any region or any country that you are in using your ASP network. So now I'm going to go back to the compute engine, go back to VM instances, and now I'm going to set a password for this PC. So to set a password, click on that drop down arrow and click set Windows password. Now, choose a username. By default, it will be the username of your Gmail account. 
or you can even select a different username so my username i'm going to leave it like that then i click on set make sure you remember your username and the password will be generated so copy this password as you can only see it once so copy it and keep it somewhere safe so i'm going to copy it here ah, i'll just keep it here for the moment so now that i have got my password what i will do is go ahead and connect to this pc and let's see what's going on so i will show you two methods one how to connect to it from your phone and two how to connect it from your pc so we will first look at how to connect to it from our pc so you see we have our windows password here i took note of it now we need the external ip this is the external ip so i will copy it then open the remote desktop connection app it comes within any every windows pc if you are using linux there is a video on my channel about how to connect to rrgp from linux so i'm going to search remote desktop connection here you can see this app just open it and here in the computer paste that ip address and click on connect now the username type your username then the password bring that password that you copied earlier put it there click on remember me so that it saves your login details and click ok now click on don't ask me again on the uh, for connections to this computer and click yes now you see we are inside the vm this window is maximized if i pull it down now you see this is the the remote pc and it is separate from my computer as you can see it here so let me expand it again uh, don't show this warning close here then close this window now welcome to your new pc as you can see it if we try and see the uh, its details let me open the file explorer click on this pc and go to properties you can see right here that it is the exact details i said 32 gb of ram uh here the the device name that i set in the google cloud dashboard yeah so this is it the pc is very very fast let me show you even the internet speed on it I'm going to open the microsoft edge browser you can install chrome and install all, all other programs that you need to use so right here i'm in the browser search for anything I check the network speed and see it is very very fast network speed so you can use this pc to do things that your normal network wouldn't allow you to do so that's the beauty about it now let's look at how to connect to it from our mobile phone so go ahead and close here see the same steps so i have my phone here so i got the home go to play store and just search for rd client or we'll just search for remote desktop then you will see this windows app it's named windows app by microsoft corporation open it i already installed it so i'm just going to open it so once it is open click on pc connection down here then the pc name just type a name here it doesn't matter let me call it my online pc user account leave it as a screen required and now let's see click on allow admit mode and you can click on save okay the pc name here should be the ip address uh, the friendly name should be that my online pc so the pc name here should be the ip address so i will paste my ip address then click on save now click on that pc that is created now the username as usual the username from the google cloud the password is the password from google cloud so 
have my password here I copy it then click on continue click on never ask again for connection to this PC the same process we did on the computer we connect Wow, well, you can see now we are in our PC and we can use it from our phone. Here is a keyboard. When you want to toggle the keyboard to type into this PC, online PC from your phone, just click on that keyboard. And your phone's keyboard will just show up down here. Mine is just truncated off the screen. Yeah. You can use your finger to drag this cursor on the PC. You can click on the screen with two fingers to, to right click. And then you can just move the cursor to where you want Double tap on that and then it, it will open your app so that is it for this video if you found it insightful leave a like if you are new to my channel consider subscribing for more videos like this